Welcome back to Gordon's Views and Reviews, where we look at everything from world politics to how my grass is growing, where I buy products and test them and give you my honest evaluation to give you a better sense of what you're getting, what you're spending your money on. Today, I want to respond to a question that was raised by one of my viewers, Jason, and he asked why he should be investing in something like the Avistor V508 as opposed to just using the recording uh, app built into his smartphone. So what I'll do is I'll do a few comparison recordings using uh, both my smartphone and the Avistor V508 so that you can compare. I'll uh, try a couple of different situations. His uh, specific request, a specific use, is for lectures uh, for, for school. So while I can't duplicate um, a lecture room or a classroom, um, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll give you a sample uh, from, say, my living room with the recorder at one end and uh, the speaker at the other end so that you can get a, a fair approximation of which one is going to do a better job in that circumstance. This is a test of the recording quality of this Galaxy Note 9 by Samsung. Uh, one of my subs uh, one of my viewers has requested a sound comparison between that of the phone and that of the V508. So this is the comparison recording. This is a test of the Evistor V508 digital voice recorder. I am standing in the closet where there is very little reverb or background noise probably the quietest space in the house. And this is a test to compare the sound quality, the recording quality, with the recording quality of my Galaxy Note 9. Here I have the two recording devices. I have the Avistor V508 and I have my Galaxy Note 9. Where the, let's see if I can get it where the lights don't wash out the screen. I have the recording app selected on the phone have this uh, V508. So uh, you can see they're both side by side. I turned the 508 on to record and now I have turned on the phone. Both units are recording. Both units are the same distance from my mouth. This will give you a sample of the basic recording quality and the differences between the two units. Both units are recording. Both units are the same distance from my mouth. This will give you a sample of the basic recording quality and the differences between the two units. Now I have turned on the phone. Both units are recording. Both units are the same distance from my mouth. This will give you a sample of the basic recording quality and the differences between the two units. Now I'm going to do a test using the uh, Moano vlogging microphone. I have it mounted here on a small tripod and we'll plug that into both the V508 and my Galaxy Note 9 to see if a, an external microphone makes any difference. This recording is being made into the Galaxy Note 9 using the Moano vlogging microphone mounted on a small tripod. This is for comparison to the same microphone plugged into the Evistor V508. Both of them are uh, fairly close. They're sitting on my desk about 8 to 10 inches in front of me. I'll test these at a greater distance next. Now I am testing the 
recording quality with the Evistor V508 and I have the Moano vlogging mic plugged into it. It is approximately 10 to 12 inches from my mouth. It's sitting on my desk in front of me and this is for comparison with the recording made using the same microphone plugged in to my Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So this is the best approximation I can get for a classroom or a lecture hall or something. I'm in my living room. The camera and the voice recorder are both approximately 10 or 12 feet from me. I am using the built-in microphones on both the phone and the V508. So this is the best approximation I can get for a classroom or a lecture hall or something. I'm in my living room. The camera and the voice recorder are both approximately 10 or 12 feet from me. I am using the built-in microphones on both the phone and the V508. I'll now switch over and plug in the uh, vlogging mic uh, in turn to first the phone and then to the V508. Now we are recording with the vlogging microphone. Again, the distance is about 12 feet. This recording is being done with the vlogging mic into the V508 digital voice recorders. I am sitting in the same position as with the test on the Galaxy Note 9. There is another option available. This is being recorded with the Evista L53. This voice recorder has the ability to adjust the gain which will increase the sensitivity of the microphone. I currently have the gain set at 30. I'll now boost it and you will notice the difference. The gain is now set at 63. So you'll notice that the microphones are a lot more sensitive. There's a lot more volume. This is something that's very handy when you're recording in a situation like a larger room where the person you're trying to record is at a distance. This is not something I've ever seen on a smartphone. So I think what these tests have shown is that if you're recording with your microphone close to the person you're recording, to the voices you're trying to capture, either the smartphone or the digital voice recorder will do an equally good job. If, however, the person you're trying to record is further away in a larger room, adding an external mic certainly helps and it seems to help more on the digital voice recorder than it does on the smartphone. There is another option, the last option I played for you, and that is to use a digital voice recorder that has the ability to adjust the gain. This increases the sensitivity of the microphones and allows you to capture sounds that are further away that otherwise would be would be quite faint. And I think you'll notice there's, there's quite a difference on the on the recording that you just heard. So my final assessment would be yeah for an application like recording lectures in, in a large room, a digital voice recorder is going to give you more flexibility and probably better results. I would certainly recommend carrying um, an external unidirectional microphone. Um, that's going to help significantly as well. And then if you can adjust the gain even more, that's better. That's going to help. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. As always, take care. 
Uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Stay safe.